Hello, welcome to Elimu TV, a station you watch and learn. This is our useful class and we are looking at trade. We have been looking at methods of trade, but today we now get to types of trade. As always, it is tutor Rojab. Now, by the end of the lesson, I will expect each and every one of us to state the types of trade and also get to state the characteristics of local trade. Now, let us go to what are these types of trade? We have got three types of trade. One, we have got local trade. We have international trade. Then finally, we have got regional trade. You can need to see our flow chart that I have there indicating the types of trade that we have. So we have got local trade, international trade, and we have got regional trade. Now in today's class, we'll get to base our discussion on local trade. What is this local trade? Local trade is the exchange of goods at the village level within a same geographical region. For example, take your eyes on your home village, right? You always trade, you always exchange goods within same geographical region. That exchange of goods within the same geographical region is what we call local trade, meaning you are doing it locally in layman's language. Now, how was it developed, right? How did it develop? So local trade developed as a result of wanting to satisfy the need of goods that were not available in the village, right? So you need to satisfy the needs of people in that, in that village. And we must note that it was organized between individuals of the same clan and other communities. And when I talk of communities, they were the neighboring communities, those communities that, 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 that neighbor each other. Now, this local trade had a number of characteristics. How could you identify that this is a local trade and not an international trade? So one characteristic of a local trade is it was carried out within a small area. The first definition of local trade, it is carried in the village, right? So that is one characteristic. It is carried within a small area. Another characteristic, the range of goods was limited to the availability. What does that mean, right? What you had is what you could trade, right? For example, if I had bananas and beans, that is what we could trade. So trade was limited to availability of the goods and the number of traders in that local trade were always few. Another characteristic is that it was, it was the basis of regional and international trade. So local trade laid the basis of regional and international trade. But however, we'll come to look at what is this regional trade and what is this international trade. And, the final, and finally, it was done by small-scale traders, right? It was done by small-scale traders. Who are these small-scale traders? These are traders who had fewer number of trading commodities, right? For example, having three hands, right? Having three, uh, three sheep, three goats, those are small scale. But when you get to look at international and uh, regional trade, the number of traders will be many as compared to the local trade. And you must note that now that local trade developed, it had a number of impacts or rather it had a number of effects to the society. And in this case, yeah, it had positive and negative impacts. But however, we'll get to look at positive impacts. One, it promoted good relations between the communities involved. And as I said earlier, the communities, they could trade the neighboring communities that uh, fostered unity or fostered good relationship between those communities that you could take part in that trade. Also, there was intermarriages. Yes, people will go and intermarry. Maybe you have gone to sell your goods in the neighboring community. You get a good, a good wife or get a good, uh, good husband, you marry. That is how intermarriage was also developed. 
and also trading centers grew as a result of local trade. They could take their goods to a specific place. So those places grew up to be marketplaces or trading centers and also later grew into towns. And finally, it led to early industries. For example, the, the cottage industries, the basketry, the pottery, because people needed to produce goods for the people. And for our task, can you get to explain the impact of trade? And for more research, let us get to use our reference book, which is KLB, History and Government, Book 2, Students' Book. Thank you and see you in the next lesson.